Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Retrospective Dave, back at you with another video. And today's segment features the much anticipated Air Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0. So before we get into the video, I just want to thank each and every one of you that has shown so much love and support to the channel. As of April 18th, 2020, we have finally reached a milestone of a thousand subscribers. Uh, this is so dope because I remember starting the channel last year and it's just amazing to see how much the channel has grown since then. So thank you so much for allowing me to share my affinity of sneakers with you and for uh, embracing the content the way that you have. Thank you so much. This newest version of the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple finally released at retailers April 11, 2020 and as expected, these sold out instantly. So for those of you who did not get a chance to buy them at retail and you had to go to places like StockX, GOAT, eBay, Poshmark, consignment stores, etc. and you're worried about the authenticity of your kicks, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get into the shoe. First things first, let's go over the proof of purchase real quick. I got these from Energy, it's a sneaker boutique down in Dothan, Alabama. 102 Central Park Ave, Dothan, Alabama. Shout out to the homie T for looking out as well. I appreciate you, bro. Okay, for those of you who are ordering your court purples from secondary market, your barcode, some of your numbers should be the same as the ones that you see on screen. And those numbers are 1-9-3-6-5-8-1-2-5. Those numbers should be the same. Oh, and also the 14 on the end. So the numbers that should be the same on your box should be the number one, nine three six five eight one two five and the number 14. the six zero four that you see right here those will probably vary from box to box but one more time the number one nine three six five eight one two five and the number 14 should be the same on your box style code you have five 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 zero eight eight five zero zero here is your color description here court purple black white one thing that I noticed that's different about this label is that all of the text here is subtly raised. It's very subtle. It's not overly exaggerated, but you can feel the indentions in the text. It's like it's, it's raised uh, just a little bit, very subtle. I don't know if you can see it on camera from the light, but if you take your finger and you rub it across the label, especially in this area here where all of the sizes are, and even over here with the prices, you can feel just a little bit of raised text there. So it's not flat. I just want to let you know that as well. When you flip the box over on the back side, you will see the stamp, uh, this Nike stamp right here. Uh, you have Nike Air, then you have the swoosh with the Air, you have Nike Air and then aerosol underneath that, and then a whole bunch of writing on the bottom. Um, but that's the only sticker that's on the back, and it's gonna, it should be place right up underneath the red swoosh here so it should be somewhere on this side all right flipping your box lid over you will have your Nike swoosh and you also have the quality control stamp over here next to it um, some box lids will have the stamp on this side some of them will have it on that side um, but all of the quality control stamps should be placed near the Nike swoosh somewhere and then on the other end of course you have your standard swoosh written out all right on the inside of the box, you have your standard Air Jordan 1 paper. Nothing special here. The inside of the box is the same. Plain Jane, nothing on the inside. No stickers, no stamps. Just your box dimensions over here. That's about it. All right, this is what your laces should look like. Um, it's like a tie-dye effect on these. So some spots are really dark and purple, like how you see here. Then there's other parts that are lighter. So it has like a mixture of deep purple, lavender, white maybe. So it's like a tie-dye effect. So they're not strictly lavender, um, just to let you know that. As far as the placement of the laces in the bag, they should uh, fit very snug around the sides of the bag. And you should also have a little bit of space here between the laces and the opening of the bag. Uh, there's no Jordan on this side, no Jordan Jumpman on that side either. So it's just a plain bag tie-dye laces and that's that all right the moment you all have been waiting for let's talk about the shoe itself so one thing that i want to bring your attention to is the shape of the shoe especially on the back um if you look at most jordan ones they have this uh particular shape where it starts off slim at the top 
it curves in and then it gets kind of fat at the bottom so it's almost i want to say it's like an hourglass i might be wrong about the hourglass reference but it does have a particular shape to it um i noticed that on fakes they're usually they don't get this part right for the most part as far as the shape um but it's on the on the real pairs they're very rounded at the bottom kind of big and fat almost and they have like this shape even if you turn to the side turn the shoe to the side it's not really straight up all the way perfect like it's got like a little slope to it um like i said on the fakes that i've seen not particularly of this shoe of the uh, court purple but i've seen fake jordan ones before and they're very straight up and down um they almost look almost like that for the most part so um when you order your shoes from a secondary market like i said just make sure that the shape is right they don't change much so it's like a little hourglass here curved it's fat at the bottom around the heel and then you also have that slope shape that goes up to the top all right so looking at the use of materials here on the shoe uh the purple parts are just a flat synthetic leather um on the side panels you have a white tumbled leather a little bit of tumbled leather on the swoosh and you also have tumbled leather here on the toe box as well um the side panels in the toe box may vary from uh pair to pair just because you know like i said i guess depending on how the shoe was treated uh some pairs might be a little bit more tumbled than others um so don't be alarmed if if your shoe looks like mine and then you see someone else and theirs is a little bit more tumbled um it just depends on how the shoe was treated at the time that it was in the factory so uh just keep that in mind but as far as the purple goes everything is a flat uh synthetic leather all right another thing i want you to pay attention to is the tongue tab this polyurethane like tongue tab um it has like a little dip right here in the middle at the bottom so it goes across has this little has this little peak and then it straightens back out again and it's like that on the other shoe as well um it's almost like there's a little piece missing but uh pay attention to your look at that part of your shoe um so those should be the same Okay. I think these are definitely worth noting the uh, shoe trees this is what your shoe tree looks like or should look like this is for a size 11 to 11 and a half you have your hazard sign here your recycle icon there Jordan the Chinese writing you should have indentions on the sides and also when you flip it over you should see down at the bottom here it says uh, let's see if I can, it says die cut sock liner so that should be on both shoe trees let's see yep, right there so this is what it should read die cut sock liner all right here's just a quick shot of what the insole should look like and here's a quick look at the tag on the inside of the shoe uh, my production dates are november 20th 2019 to december 23rd 2019 Again, those dates will vary from pair to pair because they all weren't produced at the same time on the same day. Um, so don't be alarmed if your dates are a little different from what you see on screen. Um, but this is pretty much what your tag should look like. Um, unfortunately, I can't take the insole out. I mean, I can, but it's glued to the shoe. So I don't want to damage anything by uh, ripping the insole out. But that's a quick look at your shoe tag on the inside all right and last but definitely not least i want you to pay close attention to this trademark that's on the bottom of the shoe on the outsole so that r um sits inside of this circle and the r and the circle touch each other so the the tails of the r are touching the parts of the uh, circle and the top of the r touches the circle as well um, you will see the same trademark on the box, but you'll notice that on the box, the R and the circle do not touch each other at all. The um, R sits inside of the circle on the box, but it doesn't touch. Um, but on the shoes, the R definitely touches the circle, so take note of that as well. 
All right, folks, that will conclude today's episode of Got It Laces. Thank you so much for tuning in. But before I get out of here, I just want to say that, you know, we're all going through a tough time right now with this uh, pandemic. And I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that has been affected. Um, we can always take care of each other by taking care of ourselves first, which means practice good hygiene at all times. Wash your hands frequently. If you have to sneeze or cough, do it in the elbow of your arm. Wear a mask if you need to, etc. Um, but uh, we're going to all get through this. And until next time, stay safe blessed and free of stress and I will see you all in the next video.